when we run this code, it's working correctly until we get to not have very much money. I have 68 cents and I can keep buying apples. So I can go into Apple debt right here and keep buying apples until I have negative whatever I want. That's not really how money works. At some point, we got to cut you off at the Apple store and we're going to put some code in to do that. So let's go ahead and before we subtract, what we need is an if statement and there's an if statement that checks a condition and then if the condition is met, then it will do this block of code. There's another if then statement. If the condition's met, it will do the first block of code. If the condition is not met, if it's false, it'll do the second block of code. So we're gonna use the if then. I'm gonna line it up here. And if you notice, there's this little hexagon shape and that is down in operators. Anything that has a hexagon shape, so all of these we can use. I wanna make sure that money is greater than zero. So there's a couple ways to do this. Uh, probably the easiest, let me duplicate this and I'll take that and throw it back in there. So one way to do it, uh, you could say if money greater than my cost. Unfortunately, there's no greater than or equal to, uh, So, but this 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 will be good enough. So if money is greater than my cost, that means we have more money than the cost. What can we do then? Well, now we can purchase it. There we go. Okay. Now we'll hit play. We're going to make a bunch of purchases. Now this is annoying. It takes too long to run out of money. So I'm going to pick a random between three and six. I don't want to click on the apple so many times. All right. So there we go. We're getting close to having less money. Now we have less money than the cost. I click on it again. Oh, what happened? Nothing. Why is that? Because money was not greater than cost. So instead of doing this first block, it does the second block. Now there's nothing in the second block. So let's do something in the second block. We're going to duplicate just this last command here. And We'll just put a text message in. Um, how about you cannot afford me? There we go. All right, now we're going to hit play. I cost, you're going to notice the formatting is a little weird when it's four zero forty 40 cents. You just lose the zero. Uh, so there we go. We're getting down there. Click it one more time. This is a crazy number. Uh, I wish they formatted these better. Uh, this is a number very close to zero. It's scientific notation, but now it says you cannot afford me. I'll run it one more time, maybe less crazy numbers. So we're getting very close to zero here. Boom, you cannot afford me. All right, and it does notice it does not actually subtract anything off the money when you cannot afford me because when this condition here is not true, all it does is just put the think bubble, you cannot afford me. 